Games, Games and Codes, Jitway.com is the place for you. Link is also in the description. Hey fellas, how's everyone doing? My name is Ovi and welcome to the best defenders in FIFA 16. And before we get started, if you are enjoying this series, make sure to drop that cheeky like, show your support. Can we smash? Let's say 1200 likes, that would be fantastic. We've got the best center backs in this video and what you need to know is that this is not about the most overpowered and cheap uh, hidden gems that uh, are in FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Because I've read some comments uh, in the previous videos people are asking about the cheap beasts in the in the ultimate team that will be another series at this moment i'm just gonna tell you the best center backs and the price will not be the defining factor we're gonna start with the mentions players that are very very good but they lack an attribute in order to be in that top five for example players like hummels who is a freaking beast in defense but he is not that fast and after the last patch from EA Sports, speed has been proven to be very very important for a center back. We've got players like Godin, Pique, Otamendi, Miranda, Bonucci, Laporte, Socrates. We've got so many incredible center backs that didn't make it in our top 5 because either they lacked an attribute or they were just not at the same level as the beasts in our top 5. Before getting to that top 5, we've got other 5 players, other 5 center backs that are incredible and they can always be in your top 5. It's only a matter of personal preference. We've got Thiago Silva, David Luiz, Rafael Varane, Loren Koscielny and Barzagli. They are incredible players, but for me, from what I've tested, we've got other five players, other five center backs that in the game are more overpowered, better at stopping strikers, better at defending uh, headers, better at defending uh, counterattacks. On the fifth position, we've got the Manchester City based Vincent Company. He's not the fastest, only 69 pace, but he's an absolute beast in defense. 90 standing tackle, 87 sliding tackle and also very very good at heading. 81 aggression, 88 strength, he is a nightmare for every every striker but as I've said before after the last patch from EA Sports speed at the opposing uh, strikers is so important because skill dribbling is overpowered, I'm sorry speed dribbling is overpowered and that's why 69 at pace might prove sometimes to be a problem for a center back number four we've got a player that for many of you might be the number one we've got sergio ramos 79 pace 89 standing tackle 90 sliding tackle 80 strength a fantastic player but somehow from what i've tested i feel like we've got three better center backs than him nevertheless an incredible player very very good to defend the counter attacks an all-round defender that will be good against every type of striker on the third position we've got maybe the most overpowered center back in fifa 16 why is that because he is extremely tall, 6 foot 5 and 85 strength. What you need to understand is the taller you are, the stronger you get. If you've got, let's say, 85 strength like Naldo and you put another center back with 85 strength, let's say Sergio Ramos, he's shorter than Naldo. Ramos won't be as strong as Naldo. Besides that, he's got 88 standing tackle, 85 sliding tackle, 93 at interceptions, which is incredible for a center back he will be able to anticipate and position himself very very good to get the ball from the opponent we're getting closer to the number one center back in fifa 16 and we've got a change comparing to my previous stop from fifa 15 i had giorgio chiellini as the number one center back back then but now he is number two, 87 rated, 77 pace. He is a beast, six foot one, 84 physical, 90 defending, stellar, stellar attributes. And he plays stellar in game, a nightmare for all strikers. As good as Chiellini is in game, imagine that our number one pick is even better. He is out of this world. We've got Jerome. 
Boateng, 6 foot 3 tall, 90 strength, 82 aggression, besides that, 79 pace, which means that he will be very good at defending counterattacks also, 90 standing tackle, 91 sliding tackle, you name it, and this guy has it, he's absolutely the best center back in FIFA 16. So fellas, what did you think about my top 5 center backs in FIFA 16? Drop a comment below and let me know. Also, did I miss someone? Leave a comment below, let me know. But remember that another video about the most overpowered and cheap center backs in FIFA 16 will go live I think in a couple of weeks after I finish this series with the best players in FIFA 16. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, show your support, that would be much much appreciated. Appreciated. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 16 content. My name is Ovi and remember, dare to be yourself.